We've been working on Trimit now for some time, demonstrating its effectiveness in the field. We're here today to have a look at a hedge and a practical application and to look at how to get the best results out of Trimit. Trimit is applied as a root drench for consistent uptake. Use Trimit on plants when they are close to their optimum size, when their desired shape, height, width and density have been achieved. The application should also be timed as new growth is coming through. So don't use Trimit on recently planted hedges. As with any product, always follow the safety directions, which for Trimit means avoiding contact with the eyes and with the skin. So today we're using this safety eyewear and these gloves while mixing and measuring. For a smaller number of plants, we can either use a sprayer like this one, this five litre sprayer that will treat five plants, or even a watering can like this one, which will treat nine plants. At one litre per plant, this nine litre watering can will treat nine plants. So we need 13.5 millilitres of trimmit in this nine litre watering can. So today we are treating a syzygium or lily pilly hedge for the first time. So we're using the 1.5 milliliter rate per plant. So we are treating this entire hedge that contains 50 plants. Given we need one liter per plant, we'll dilute 75 mils of trimmit into a tank containing 50 liters of water. So ensure you apply trimmit to the root zone around the plant. This may require you to pass down one side of the hedge and then the other side of the hedge for large established hedges. So as a guide, we recommend that you apply trim it to the soil out to the drip zone of the plant. On dry soils that don't take water well, the use of a wetting agent will support the movement of trim it into the root zone. There's some important points to take into account to ensure you get the best results from trim it. So before applying trim it, remove as much mulch as possible to ensure the application reaches the soil or apply trim it before mulching. Also try to spread the application around the entire base of the plant, not just on one side. So both sides are best. A light post application irrigation or watering is also recommended to aid the movement of trim it into the soil and down to the root zone. It's important that the plant be actively growing at the time of application so that good uptake of trim it occurs. For this reason, the growing points of the plant need to be intact to draw the product into the plant through the roots. Now's the perfect time of the year to apply trim it because we're in early spring. So a good tip is not to prune the hedge for around four to six weeks after application. Also ensure the plant is not under severe stress. Of course, stress can be caused by a number of extremes such as a shortage of moisture, excess moisture, prolonged high temperatures, severe frosts, a lack of nutrition, or even disease and pest pressure. Also, for best results from trim it, ensure the treated hedges have adequate nutrition and are well watered. Trim it's been trialled extensively in a range of situations, and when applied according to the label, you can use trim it with peace of mind, knowing that it is APVMA approved, and has no detrimental effects to plant health. Trim it allows your hedges to stay in shape with less work and provides better looking hedges.